There was so much hype on TikTok about this fragrance, but not so many people talk about it in YouTube. Is this an underrated Arabian jam? Would you like it and how does it perform? Watch until the end and you'll find out. And hello everyone, I'm Miri. So let's start with the inspiration of this perfume's name. I was so delighted with the meaning Yara in Arabic. It actually is an endearing name, which means a little butterfly. And it also means water lady, and that meaning comes from the mythology in which Yara was the name of a water goddess. So it has an awesome name, but how does it smell? Yara opens with floral notes and light fruity accents, and florals here are indistinct. They are very creamy and almost lotion-like. And since it's not listed which specific fruits are used in this perfume, I can only say what I smell. And at first I thought that you can smell peach and pineapple in this perfume, but then I got red berries and strawberries. So this is definitely some type of berries, tropical type of fruits used in this perfume. This is very powdery, creamy, musky vanilla scent with fruity quartz that becomes warmer and fluffier as it dries down. In the dry down, Yara loses its floral notes and light woody accord is recognizable but in the background, but even then Yara remains fruity. This is very smooth, creamy and fluffy, and it has the texture of marshmallows. So although it's not specified, I think that gourmand note used in Yara is actually marshmallow. Yara is a very sweet, fluffy, creamy, and just yummy perfume that has like a baby powder vibe, and it smells like a perfumed or fruity flavor flavored body lotion in the best way possible. A lot of people describe this perfume as a strawberry milkshake, but even though I get strawberries, there are other fruits in here. And fruity notes here are more like a side player and creamy vanilla takes the main stage. So it would be more appropriate to describe it as the scent of vanilla milkshake with a few strawberries and tropical fruits on the side, or like the scent of tropical strawberry flavored marshmallows. It's a very pretty, gentle, luscious, cozy and comforting perfume. It's like a soft cloud around you and it smells like a love child between Mont Blanc Signature and Burberry Her Elixir. You get a beautiful, creamy, musky, vanillic base from Mont Blanc Signature, but with a fruity, girly, gourmand kick of Burberry Her Elixir. So take away citruses from the Mont Blanc Signature and add fruitiness, powderiness and sweetness from the Burberry Her Elixir and you'll get Yara. Yara smells clean, pink and fluffy, silky smooth and very gentle like an essence of a cloud. And although it has a powdery quality, fruity and floral notes elevate Yara so it never smells like an old lady type of powdery scent. Actually it's quite opposite. It smells very youthful, girly and fruity and I think it's very enjoyable and a soft sweet scent hard not to like. So my rating of this scent profile is 8.5 out of 10. Yara lasts for about four to five hours on my skin and it projects for the first two hours and then it has very soft and intimate projection and silage. Yes, it's not a projector, but usually creamy powder perfumes tend to be softer and more gentle otherwise they would be cloying. So it is a likable perfume and yes, I wish the performance was better, but for the price, I can't really complain. So my rating is of its performance 5.5 out of 10. The first negative point is the bottle. I much prefer classier and simpler bottles and this is just like too plasticky, bulky for me, so I'm not a fan of the bottle design. The second negative point is that for some this is boring one note fragrance. So if you're more into a complex fragrances that change on your skin, then this is not it. This is mostly a linear, yes, very likable fragrance. So just be aware of that before you purchase it. And the third negative point is the performance. Latafa usually has beast mode perfumes, but this one is much softer and more gentle. 
The first positive point is that this is a safe blind buy. Yes, you might not be blown away by it, but this is a really pretty likable scent and I can't imagine someone getting offended by it. The second positive point is that this is a good perfume for layering because it is a mainly a sweet powdery vanilla scent, so it would be good for layering with perfumes that lack sweetness or with tropical perfumes. And the third positive point is that this is very versatile. It is inoffensive, likable, and soft, so it would be a perfect choice for any daytime occasion as a bedtime scent, and it's wearable all year round, so it could be even a signature scent worthy. If this review was enjoyable and helpful so far, boop the like button and subscribe because that shows me how enjoyable this video was for you. And let me know in the comments if you have tried this perfume and what do you think of it. And now let's talk who would this perfume be ideal for? If you like sweet perfumes or gourmands, if you enjoy the scent profile of Burberry Her Elixir or Mont Blanc Signature, or if you're looking for a soft, girly, candy-like perfume, try it out. Although this doesn't project much on my skin, I really enjoy it and I absolutely recommend it if you want something casual, carefree, happy, and girly. You can buy it on Amazon for $30. I bought mine on the Notina website, so for the price, I really can't complain. This is a really good powdery, creamy vanilla scent with fruity and floral aspects. It's very feminine, inoffensive, and just yummy. So three words or adjectives I would describe it with would be powdery, fruity, marshmallows, and my overall rating for the scent profile and performance is 7 out of 10. If you like sweet, musky perfumes, check out my review of Narciso Rodriguez Narciso Rouge. See you in that video. Bye!